Hey guys, it's me, the back on a science tree, and today, as promised, I'm going to be making a new series of becoming Iron Man, and we're gonna start off like he did on a cave. So he started off by making a arc reactor to obviously keep him alive, and so we're gonna do that today, cause we're gonna like go uh, in the sense of the first Iron Man movie. So yeah, let's do the arc reactor. And we've got the materials in front of us. I've got some electronics out of a drone thingy that used to float when your hand comes by. And then I've got this. Well, you don't need that. That's just for the lighting purposes. And I've got this thing, which is like a, a cuboid of cardboard. That's going to come in handy later on. And here are some other miscellaneous things, like the circle making stuffs and so I had been thinking a lot about how to make a perfect uh, Iron Man arc reactor so it took me five days to come up with an easy uh, idea for a video so yeah this is my normal um, like blueprint and here are gonna be some of these silver stuff so you can use paper as well these are just some um what they call like Keyring chains, yeah, these are that stuffs, and I'm gonna be using hot glue as well. So I haven't prepared that. Well, I need to do that. And for the wires, I'm gonna be using these uh, threads. So yeah, let's start with the video.
So guys, we just finished our project for today and took me quite a long time. So that's why it's already been like uh, evening, almost evening. So this thing is like glowing. I didn't even turn it on or anything, but I could just turn it off. So the, the details in this are pretty, pretty cool. And I could just put this thing instead of those silver... Uh, key rings, but you know this looks even cooler. So I the most time t consuming thing to do was these to wrap these stuffs all around that thing. So I just want to upload this video as soon as possible without uh like so you guys don't have to wait. So yeah, I'm doing this end card in the almost the evening. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's got this rechargeable battery. And some cool little designs in there. Okay, see, it's tur it it turned off on on its own. So there's it turned on, on, off. So just to show you, it's my remote. There's it. Okay, let's just let's show you guys it in in the dark. So pretty cool. It's a pretty strong light actually, but because there are like two translucent papers in there it's like faded a bit and that's what I was going for and it turned out pretty cool so yeah it's got that infrared sensor so that's why I'm able to use a TV remote to power it up and anyways this could be my favorite arc reactor I've got like a few more up there in the walls but those were shown in my older videos, so this might be my favorite one, because it's the most accurate one. And that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. So, and you guys need to be aware that this is just the part one. I'm going to become the Iron Man. Like, I'm going to make the entire Iron Man suit. So, in the next part, I think I'll be doing the helmet, because he makes the helmet next. So, yeah, I'm going to do the helmet. And the most difficult part is gonna be the armor the main chest plate so anyways I can't just stop looking at this thing super cool so that's it that's all I gotta show you guys and hope you enjoy let me just turn this off because it's gonna like drain all the power okay turned off thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it hope you got some inspiration to do make to make some cool paper graphs or at least if you got some cool ideas to make this kind of arc reactor and if you did don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video comment me down below what should i do next in my next videos and share my videos thank you bye bye